This worksheet requires you to make use of the Excel's uh, future value function to find the future value of an annuity. Also, it's going to require you to incorporate uh, spinners into your worksheet to increment the uh, size of your uh, periodic contributions or payments, the interest rate, and the number of years. For instance, uh, the payment is $600, or we could increase it to $700, 800 We can change the interest rates up or down. We can change the contribution periods. And then also we want to have a drop-down menu that allow you to change the frequency of your contributions. They could be annually, uh, they could be monthly, they could be quarterly, etc. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we would build this worksheet. All right, let's begin uh, with building just a basic worksheet that would calculate the future value of a payment. So we've got our equals future value our rate, 10%, our number of periods, 4, and our payment, let's again enter that as a negative amount, and close our parentheses. So now we've calculated the future value of a $800 payment for 4 years at a 10% interest rate. The next thing I want to do though is to change the frequency of our contributions from annual to incorporate monthly or to other types of things. Our first step is going to be to put together a list of how often we want to consider making payments annually, monthly, quarterly, and weekly. We're going to use a vertical lookup function that's going to link to this, so we're going to want our list to be in ascending order. The next step then is to also incorporate or reflect the frequencies in terms of annual will be once a year, monthly, 12 times a year, quarterly, four times a year, and so on. So now that we've done that, we're going to put in what's called a drop-down menu to link to this data over here. Uh, we're going to begin with, um, to do our drop-down menu, you go up to the Data tab, Data Validation, and on our first Settings tab, we're going to select List. Now, in terms of the source, I could have typed in the words Annual, weekly, and so forth. But quite often, it's easier, instead of typing those in, to actually link to some cells. And in this case, here are the cells that I'm going to link to, uh, cells H3 through H7. Notice I included a blank cell at the top of my list because I would like the drop-down menu to appear blank uh, before anything of selection has been made. So now I'll hit OK. Our and I can come over here and I can pick monthly, I can pick quarterly, etc. The next thing I need to do is I need to associate um, my selection from my drop down menu with a frequency of compounding. I'm going to do that using a vertical lookup function. Recall that equals V look up parenthesis, and if I want to pull up the function wizard, I can click on FX. Again, the value I want to look up, I want to look up this choice that I've made in terms of frequency of payments. I want to look that value up in this table or array right there, H4 through I7. Uh, and I want to select the value in the second column of my table. And once I've done that, I can see then as I change my frequency, I will pick up a different value. Next thing, I need to go back in and edit my future value function. Let's use the function wizard to do that. So click on your function, then hit FX. Now my rate is my 10%, but now I need to divide that by my frequency of payment. My number of periods, I need to multiply by the frequency of my payments. And now I'll just go ahead and hit OK. So now I can, it's $800 annually, would grow to $3,713. Um, 800 monthly would grow to 46000 800 weekly would grow to 204000 So I'm starting to build some flexibility in my worksheet. The next step is we're going to want to incorporate some spinners to increment or change my payments, my interest rates, and my number of years. To build or put in a spinner, you need to make sure you have a Developer tab at the top of your file menu. If you don't,
go to the Office button, come down to Excel Options, and under Popular, you'll see a Show Developer tab in the ribbon, and make sure you've checked that box, and then hit OK. So let's go to the Developer tab, and we are going to insert a form control, a spin button. Click there and just click anywhere on your worksheet. Let's right click then and come down to Format Control. I want to link this spin button to the cell uh, B7, which includes my number of years. And let's say we'll have the maximum number of years 100, and we want to increment or change this by 1, so we're in good shape, so we'll hit OK. Now, as I click on my button, the number of years where my investment takes place changes. Now, we're going to move this and scale it down a little. So right click, and then we're going to, once we've got this here, we can grab the buttons, make them smaller in size. We can right, uh, left click, move it over, next to the number of years. Again, let's make that a little bit smaller so it fits. And we are in business. Next, we're going to add a spin button for our interest rates. So again, come up to Insert, Spin button, click anywhere on your worksheet. Now, as we right click and we go to Format Control, one of the things you're going to notice is the very smallest increment we can have for our uh, change is 1. We can't use percentages, and we would like an interest rate of 1%, 2%, etc. So for our incremental change, we'll leave it at 1. Uh, let's go ahead and put a maximum value of, say, 1,000. And instead of linking it directly to our interest rate cell, which would have been cell B6, instead we're going to link it to the cell next to that. We'll put C6. Now, as we use our spinner, um, we can see the value in cell C6 changes. Now, what I want to do is link my interest rate to that cell C6. So equals cell C6 divided by 100. And that will give me 6%. And I can increase it or decrease it respectively. I'm going to go ahead then and right click on my control. And I want to format this thing. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, a little bit wider. And I'm going to put it right over cell C6. C6, so we can't see that number 7. And let's move this one over just a little bit. And I've got two spin buttons. The last spin button I want to put in is for my payments. So again, we'll go to the Developer tab, click on Insert, select Spin button, click anywhere on my worksheet, right-click it, format the control. Let's link this to cell B4, which has our payment. Uh, let's make increments of $100, and we'll hit OK. Now, as I click on my button, my contribution or payment uh, for my annuity changes. Again, we'll move this. We'll right-click it, come down, grab the corners, slide it up, move it over to the cell right next to my payment. Now one last thing I'm going to do and is I'm going to change the fonts for all of these cells to make them a white font on a white background and we can no longer see them. And we've got our completed worksheet.